Hello guys, I'm Dr. Steven Akinja, Chairman, Founder, GTEx Holdings, and so I'm starting a new series called G Land Banking Clinic. I realize there's a lot of distrust when it comes to buying properties in Nigeria. And so I decided to start taking Q&A uh, questions you guys are asking. You can always send your question to info at stevenakintyre.com and I'll read it and then answer it just like this. So my first question today um, is from a client um, who sent me this mail. And the question is, what do I do if I bought a property from a company and then only to get a letter from a co investor in that same company who bought in another location of their property in Asaba and claimed that they do not have any record of ownership of the property when he went to do search and he sent it to all the clients of the company. I was copied in that conversation. I'm scared, I'm worried that my funds is not protected, even though I did not buy from that particular location that the client is mentioned. What do I do? Okay, thank you for your question, uh, Mr. AB. Um, my answer would be simple. First of all, does the property have CFO? Um, and typically, if a property has CFO, you can't get two CFO. So if the company this real estate company you're referring to um, claim that they have seeable on this particular land you can go to land registry and then see the seeable in their name it will be in the name of the person they bought it from. so the document you should be asking should be that of uh, and, and i'm talking relating to the co-client who posted this right so the document the co-client should have been asking is a deed of assignment that transferred ownership okay from the owner that they saw in the ministry of lands whose name was on that land um they, so when there is a deed of um, you know transfer or deed of assignment um if this new this company can prove that they got a deed of assignment from the person whose name appear in ministry of land then they are good to go because remember most real estate companies do not further go change the name of a land that is already has a government title to their own name they expect you the customer to do that for your own portion else it will be double payment right if they go and do um, another you know uh, document to, to, with the government to show that they now are the new owners of the property most of you, when you still buy from them, you still need to go and pay government again to put it in your own name. So that's double payment. And they will have needed to have charged you a lot more because those things, sometimes <laughs> those kind of payment is almost the equivalent of buying the land itself, right? So many real estate companies would rather have you buy it from them. They will give you a provincial survey and they give you a deed of assignment. You cannot take it to the Ministry of Land. And say okay i bought this land from this person that then sold it to this person and now it's mine and you can then put it in your name so um same you want to do with the one you then bought okay two things you must uh, you know clarify uh evidence of possession that shows that this company took possession of the land number two is a deed of assignment that shows that the property moved from the seller you know to the buyer i hope this makes sense once the company can show you these two documents i think you can be rest assured that you're good the only other thing you should do is collect the the deed of assignment they gave you collect the provincial survey they gave you you also then go to ministry of land and register it in your name okay um so that's very important so because their own title doesn't necessarily cover you simply that the title is in your name after all you bought it from them so that's what you can then do to protect yourself because if you go ahead and register the title in your name okay 
and you have the evidence that they gave you deed of, um, um, deed of assignment or deed of transfer or deed of ownership or deed of whatever with a survey of where it covers you then register with ministry of land you can get a lawyer help you register with ministry of lands and you're good to go at least you will no longer be scared because you've registered with the government that you are the owner of the portion that you bought from these people okay i hope this is helpful i hope it's not complex <laughs> okay i'm better today i keep tired i my founder gtx holdings who are into selling of land houses and we have investment opportunities in africa us uk and dubai love you god bless you bye, -bye. till next time come back again with land banking clinic on another question bye bye